Hello everyone and welcome to this new video on Power BI and Power Query. Now in this video we're going to revisit a topic that we have covered before. Uh, this is based on a video that I published on May 7th of 2015 and it was about replacing values using values from another column. So if we wanted to replace for example there's no values in this table what we could do is simply select the columns that have those no values, for example, and perhaps go to transform. You're going to go to replace values and you're going to select replace values. Now you're going to say that you're going to find no, and you're going to replace that with, uh, you get two choices here. You only get, uh, from a decimal number or from a parameter. So in our case, we're just going to choose a uh, number. And in this case, we're just going to put 12. So it's going to find all of the null values and replace it with the number 12. But as we've seen before, we can actually tweak the code that Power Query creates for us. So we can change this, for example, instead of a 12, it can actually be a one. And just like that, it changes. Now, in our case, we want to do something different. So we want to create an average of all these months and use that average to fill out any null values. So in order to create that average, I'm just going to select all of those columns, go to add column. We're going to go to statistics and we're going to create an average column. So I'm going to insert that step. It's going to be called average as you can see here. And now I'm going to go back to the replace value step. And in here, in the one, all I need to do is change that one to be each and then the name of the column. So the name of the column is just going to be in square brackets, average. And just like that, I actually change or replace the null values with the values from this average column. Now you're going to notice something really important. And is that we actually lost all of the data types from our table. So that is not nice because we had it all set up correctly and now we completely missed the mark. So in order to actually fix this, you can manually change the data types. That's one way. Um, it can be actually really tedious if you're going through many uh, columns. So what you can do is that you can actually reference a previous step that has all of the information from those columns. And it works perfectly for this example. So I'm going to create a custom step by just clicking on this FX icon. And I'm going to use something called the value dot replace type function. So it works against this table and I'm going to replace the data types from that table using the data types of a previous step, which is a previous table. So I'm going to use here. So value.type, which is going to extract the value or the data types from a column, from a table, sorry. And it's not going to be the replace value a step. It's actually going to be the inserted average. I can close parentheses, close parentheses. And what it's going to do is simply use the data types that I had defined on the inserted average and use them as it here on this table. Now, something to take in consideration is that it's not actually applying a data type transformation on the values. It's just setting up the data type for the column. So for example, if I, for some reason, and this is going to be, this is going to sound kind of weird for you, but let's just say that I change this and it's going to be text for some reason. So it is text, but if I go to the next step, it's going to show as a decimal number, but it's still showing as text. So the column is defined as a numeric, but it still has text values. So you have to be aware of that. So here, I'm just going to delete this one. And right there, we're actually going back to uh, the state that we wanted. So this value.replace type is only replacing the data types 
of the columns and it's not actually doing uh, transformation on every value that is actually inside that column. And that is what's called the abscribe data type. Hope you find this video useful and let me know your comments in the comment section below. Thank you.